Hi, welcome to another one of my short videos to encourage you today. Wherever you are, however you're feeling, you, uh, we all need encouragement sometime. I have been thinking about the fact that a lot of people, myself included, are speaking about entering into a new season. And I want to say, we cannot enter into a new season, a new era, um, whatever phrase, terminology we're using, we can't enter into it with the courage and the ease that's required unless we fully believe our identity in Christ, unless we fully believe how God sees us. Because we're always going to question and compare ourselves and doubt and give in to fear if we don't believe that we are called, anointed, appointed and purposed by God for this time, that we called for this time. So there's a scripture in Hosea 2.23 that says this, I will say to those who are not my people, you are my people. And they shall say, you are my God. You know, this was back in the Old Testament. And this is God looking way ahead and seeing you and I and saying, I'm going to say to those people, you are mine. And we turn around and we say, yes, you are my God. Um, I found something very interesting along these lines in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Now, it's very important, go and read from before verse 10, read from verse 1 onwards, because it's very interesting about our identity and, and how the blood of Jesus brought us near. Um, but verse 10 says this, For we are his workmanship. And I want to stop at that word, workmanship. And some translations say masterpiece. And whenever I heard that, that scripture, I preached on it myself, and I heard the word masterpiece, I automatically picture a painting that God is this great artist and, and I'm, his, I'm his work of art. And when I think of a painting, and I, I think of myself as a painting, I picture, I, I, I imagine it's what I look like on the outside to other people. But I did a little bit of background reading about that word workmanship, and it actually comes from a word poema, Forgive me if my pronunciation is wrong, but that word is where we get the English word poem. And the word poema means something that is made or the work of God's hand as creator. Now we know God is the creator, not just a creator, he's the creator. And But when I think of we are God's poem or we are God's poetry, it makes, it makes sense. You might feel as if your life is a mess today. You might feel as if your life is not a poem, but it's a riddle. And you can't make sense of what's going on in your life. But I want to say to you that if we just give God a little opportunity, He will step in and He will turn our mess into something beautiful in His hands. You might feel that people are looking at you and they can't make sense of what's going on in your life. And you're the one who's saying, God is with me. God is for me. And they're questioning and you're even questioning yourself. If God is with me, how can I see myself as his workmanship or his poem or his poetry? I want to tell you that without you doing anything, the presence of God on your life, even when you feel weak, you feel as if you don't have faith, there are people outside who don't know Jesus yet, and they can see the presence of God in your life. And I want to say to you that God wants to write his poetry through your life. He wants to preach a message of love and grace and kindness through you. So be encouraged today that the word of God says that you are his workmanship. You are his masterpiece. You are his poetry today. So wherever you go, whatever you do, be aware of that, that God is preaching his message to a world through your life. So stop letting the enemy tell you that your life is worthless, that you have no value, that nothing can be salvaged from your life. Because this is what the word says, and I'm going to stick to what the word says, that God is writing his poetry through me. And so go out there, live a life believing that you're called, anointed, appointed for such a time as this. And there are people who need to see the poetry of God in operation through your life. Let him do it. Let people see the grace of God in your life when, when you don't know what to pray anymore, when you still standing and trusting for your breakthrough. There are people in a worse situation than you are because they don't know Jesus. They don't have the hope that you have. And so let God speak through your life by writing his poetry through your life today. Be encouraged with that.